Hi, this is Laura from LiveVisions.com, and I wanted to talk to you about Venus conjunct Saturn or aspecting Saturn in a birth chart. What does this mean? Well, it means that your love life is probably going to get better after 35. And also, a lot of people with Venus, especially conjunction to Saturn, you're looking for the long time, not really looking for the good time. You could be very serious when it comes to relationships. You may have long-term relationships, right? You may, however... If your Venus is conjunct Saturn, this can be create a feeling of lack of love. Like, you know, I'm just not feeling this love feeling. I'm not having, I'm having this lack of, uh, in some way, shape, or form, there's some sort of lack of love you're feeling from a person, a partner, right? And the best thing that I can tell you with this aspect is create really good boundaries. Don't accept less than you deserve, right? Because Saturn is about lessons, right? It, it rules time. It rules teaching lessons. And it's saying the lesson is about love and or money, okay? So this is you knowing your worth, knowing your value, and saying, I'm not going to accept less than what I deserve, right? I'm not going to accept less than I deserve in a love relationship or in a financial situation. Venus also rules money. So your finances probably get better after 35 too through hard work. Saturn is not about skipping steps. No, no. Saturn is going up the ladder like everybody else. This is not about a nepotism opportunity. <laughs> okay? Like the uncle gives you the job because he's the manager. No. And if you do get the job because it is your uncle or whatever, aunt, whatever it is, you're probably going to be working really, really hard to keep that position, right? Because Saturn is about hard work. So when Saturn is conjunct Venus, it can create this lack feeling of, my mom had this aspect, and she never had an issue attracting a partner, right? But I did notice there was an issue with her with boundaries, you know? So I think, and even, you know, she would get really feisty and mad and that's, you know, that's it. But then she would cave and say, oh, well, you know, and I feel like Saturn will give you what you want if you maintain good boundaries. So if somebody is treating you less than you deserve and keep a really good boundary and say, you're not coming back into my life until you fix this, 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 whatever it is, right? If the person does make them work. Saturn is about work, right? Hard work. Make them er work to earn their place back into your life, right? Saturn is about good boundaries. Your love life gets better after 35 because you know more about love and or financial situation because Venus also rules money. <clears throat> but also through good boundaries, you make you make get a partner that can last the test of time because Saturn does rule time, right? So make sure you're maintaining good boundaries. So that is my advice if you have Venus conjunct Saturn or aspecting Saturn. And it creates this lack feeling, feeling of lack of love. And I wanted to also touch a little bit on Saturn retrograde. So let's touch a little bit on that one too. Somebody who has Saturn retrograde in their birth chart can feel as if, I'm not going to allow you to hurt me, right? So I'm going to have a toe out of the water. I'm going to have one foot out and one foot in. And I'm going to be guarding my heart of your, and I'm not going to let you hurt me. And sometimes these people sabotage their relationships without even knowing, right? So they're being extra cautious. So my advice here is if a man or a woman is investing their time, their energy in money in you, and they mean what they say, they say what they mean, they keep their promises, it's okay to jump in the water with both feet. It's okay to jump in with both feet without feeling like you're going to be hurt. Now, the reason Saturn's retrograde in your birth chart is because somehow, in some way, shape, or form, growing up, you did not get um, the recognition of some way that you deserved, right? And maybe reassurance that you're needing, right? So somehow, in some way, you're like, I'm not going to let you do this to me. Mm -mm. And usually after 35, this retrograde feeling, you kind of learn from it, right? But if you're after 35 and you're still feeling like, well, what's going on? I want you to think about <clears throat> the types of people you allow in your life, okay? And think about, okay, are you dating unavailable types? Because a lot of times people with Saturn retrograde subconsciously, not even aware of it, 
Date unavailable types. Either for person is physically unavailable or emotionally unavailable, right? And if you're daily dating these unavailable types, you know, and then let's say the person is available 100%. I've counseled people on this. Let's say the person's 100% available to you, right? And they mean what they say, say what they mean. They keep their promises, all of the things, right? Um, and all of a sudden, you feel the need to go out and create a wrench in the relationship. Either you'll, you'll cause something. You'll leave the person, you'll cheat on the person, or you're doing something to push them away, right? I had a client, a uh, couple clients do this, and I'm like, you're not even aware of it, are you? No, and I go, so when you, the feeling of normal is not normal. So if you're constantly going for unavailable types, physically or emotionally unavailable type of people, that's not normal, right? So when you find someone who's totally available to you, all of a sudden you feel the need to put a wrench in the relationship and wreck it without even realizing. So I tell them to get comfortable with the uncomfortable until normal becomes the feeling of normal to them because their, their comfortability is with abnormal, like people who aren't totally available. <clears throat> so that is my advice. Saturn retrograde is hard to get over, having a Saturn retrograde, because it's a... I'm not allowing you to hurt me, so I'm not allowing you in. But then these people wonder, well, why am I not getting the relationship I want? I want a fulfilling love life. I want something that's secure and stable. Why don't I have it? It's because they're not allowing it. And, and you're dating the wrong people. Unavailable types, right? So that's something really to look into with Saturn. Saturn rules time. Now let's talk about Saturn. If you have Saturn aspecting your seventh house of marriage, in your seventh house of marriage, opposing your seventh house of marriage or squaring your seventh house of marriage what does this mean or if you have not only saturn but if you have capricorn in the seventh house right <clears throat> the sign of capricorn um this can be a problem because this can delay or deny marriage okay in the first marriage right well if it's the seventh house yes the, the first marriage it can delay or deny so what does this mean? It means that probably if you get married before 35, 99% of me and the divorce. So I would wait. I would wait. It means you don't know enough about the person or yourself, okay? And I have this. I have this. I have Saturn squaring my seventh. And I was married at what, 20, 25? I got married and ended in divorce. Everything was good. I didn't hardly argue with this person ever. Never had an argument. We were together 10 years. Everything was good. But uh, we should have waited, you know. I didn't, you know, I didn't listen to my own astrology. So I'm telling you, if you want to stay this, keep this person into your life, maybe just don't take the plunge until after 35, okay? But for most people, they've already done it. They've gotten married. They have divorced. And now the second marriage, you know, we're looking at the second marriage. Now, if you have Capricorn ruling the, the second marriage house, or squaring the second marriage house, or if you have Saturn in the second marriage house, you know, the, the same rules apply, okay? So you want to look at that in your astrology. It does affect. Now, what it does say is sometimes if you get married after 35, this could be a marriage that stands the test of time, okay? Because Saturn does rule time. And it just says you don't know enough about the other person or yourself to make a really good decision before 35. <laughs> anyway, I hope this helps you understand a little bit about Saturn and how it aspects Venus and where it is in the birth chart to, to give you information about marriage. And But I will tell you this, if you do have Saturn in the seventh house or Capricorn ruling the seventh, you could be married to someone who's older than you, more mature for their age, right? This person could be very serious and this person could be very status driven. So that, those are good things, though, you know. Anyway, I hope this helps you. If you want a reading, here's the website. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.